people are using the gorillas as one way to condemn you, along with other yes, things. Yes, of so course. So I want them to understand that you understand how important They have is. diplomacy, they have radio. The way only to show Kunda as a criminal is to say that he's eating gorillas. Right. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> even in our culture, we cannot eat a gorilla. No. no. You see, journalists also are coming for uh, getting, I think, money. Because I was very disappointed by the behavior of the CNN uh, manager mm -hmm. who came here. Do you remember Only the name of that person? Yes, I can get it. Yeah. And he was led by a bandit, mm. Jason Stern, the one who came last time with this so-called uh, um, yeah, um, yeah. panel. Okay. Yeah. Security Council, Security Security Council. Council. <laughs> panel. He's a bandit. Oh. He's known in North Kivu and South Kivu like a bandit. <laughs> And he brought him he was him. doing um, business with FDLR in South Kiv. Mm. And when I see you and using him like a, an expert, oh. That's disappointing. <sighs> and he's the one who led the team from CNN. But there is some uh, kind of person I respect. What's the kind of person you respect? Only the one who, to, who tell the truth. Tell the truth on me. Don't, don't, don't add, even in a, in, a, in a way you think it will be good for me. Mm -hmm. No, don't add. Mm -hmm. But don't, also don't reduce. Tell the truth. Be in the middle. Because you are informing the world. Mm -hmm. The world is seeing you like the one who knows. You see? Yes. Yeah. That, that's, that, what that's what CNN didn't do yeah. at that time. Because they came, they interview me. But when they showed on, 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 their, on the, their TV, they were... Cut the voice. They cut my voice and they were speaking on my behalf. That's yes. mm. they put no, their own comments. That won't happen. Their that won't own happen. comments. And it was mm. not good. We are in an area, now you are in the area. That's why I say, uh, when they told me that you are coming, and because you are involved, not from today, but in the nature conservation. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, even, it, even if it was not my time to receive, but I will receive you. Because you are not here for journalism, but you are here for the nature. When I tell you that you protect gorillas, mm -hmm. you are protecting also the wealth mm -hmm. for Jomba, mm -hmm. for Ruchuru, for Noskivu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And to protect gorillas, mm -hmm. you are going also to develop these people mm -hmm. so that they can understand that gorillas are not a threat against them. Yeah. But it's a wealth. Try to see, try to, to, try to understand. Because the nature of Congo can speak and can tell you what Congo would have been if it would have been well led. We have a problem of leadership. But all the possibilities are there, laid down, waiting for someone only to raise the life of Congolese. And what I think about Congo, in my thinking, I always say that Congo will be uh, the most developed country, the most strong economically, country in Africa and in the world I always say that Congo can be the the fourth or the fifth because we have all resources human resources natural resources <laughs> are you the are you the guy to provide the peace and security and that future for the Congolese people leadership can change Congo but not a leader you can be a such kind of leader but if your people is not educated you are going to be seen like you are the, the enemy of the people. Like uh, in 1961, Emery Lumumba was killed by Congolese because he was saying that Belgium um, uh, didn't develop Congo and other Congolese thought that he's... Um, he's yeah, he, he's not uh, normal and... Congolese killed Lumumba. If Congo will change, it will not come from me or from another, but from an understanding, a new spirit for Congolese. That's why I think that we, we have to go by educating our people. If we educate the people, then they'll choose good leaders 
and this leadership will um, bring Congo in my, 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 my dream. How women are treated um, in Congo and how they are raped and mass raped. Can you tell the world how you feel about this happening to women of Congo? <coughs> Mm, it's difficult to explain, but you are now in Congo, and you are in the uh, uh, the, the area under uh, CNDP control. Ask in the hospitals where we are, and ask the the, the, the women raped in our areas. I cannot think that they are raped in Jomba, then going to to be treated in Goma or Bukavu. But if you go in Goma, and if if you go in Bukavu, you are going to see hospitals full of uh, women raped. But ask here, or go in Bunagana in Rutura and ask. They are going to tell you that the most secured area in Congo is the area under our control. Even when they are telling about um, Rutsuru massacres, no, it's not true. It's not true. They say that we massacre Hutu tribe. The, the executive secretary of CNDP, the second in charge, is a Hutu. So you tell me about killing Hutu. In my army, 60% are Hutu. 60 or 70% are Hutu tribe. Then you tell me that I used these soldiers to kill Hutu. It's most understandable. It's a way to do it. But you are now here. Go and ask. You can go in Kiwanja. You can go in Kichanga, you can go in Ruchuru, you go to Bunagana, ask them. You are going to see women, ask them. Yeah. Kiwanja was liberated by CNDP at 20th October. We did in Kiwanja one week without any killing, any rape, any loot. One week after, the government with my mice, uh, FDLR, reattacked Kiwanja and they occupied Kiwanja for 24 hours. My forces were back from Kiwanja. And in only 24 hours, 74 people were killed. And before we came back to Kiwanja, the governor of Goma in the morning announced that in Kiwanja there is massacres. And I was asking myself, who is doing? Because when I heard on the radio that there is massacres in Kiwanja, I called my guys on the ground. Where are you? They said we are in Ruturu. Uh, there is no our forces in Kiwanja. He said no. Now, the governor of Noskiv is telling that there is massacres. Who is doing now? They said no, we are not in Kiwanja. And we were back to Kiwanja in the afternoon of 29th. No, of... Uh, of, 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 of of sevens. We, we, we were back 24 hours after. And some people were killed in crossfire. That we can't testify. Because my my, they don't know how to shoot. They shoot elsewhere they want. And they were killing when they were going, they were shooting. When retreating, they were shooting. And we, <coughs> we saw that even the Hutu community in Ruchuru wrote a letter about, in, about that and they gave it to um, uh, Chief Olusegono Basanjo that we were not killed by CNDP. Do you have a copy of that letter? Yeah, I have Can the I have copy. have a copy of it? He, Babu. Yes. Yeah, you have a copy. You have a copy. Yes. Yeah, okay. you have a copy. Where the president of the Hutu community in Ruturu said that we were not killed by CNDP. If it was not CNDP, we would have not been in Ruturu today. Mm -hmm. And this letter is there, and there are number of phone are there. And if you want, we can bring you to to Ruturu and ask the leaders, the local leaders.